Hello and welcome to another episode. Um, I get asked quite a lot some questions about what I'm doing with car scanner and how to get to various screens and um, particularly in my charging videos um, I'm using the pre-baked ones that are already there. Um, so this is how you plug it into the car and disconnect it from the car safely. Um, basically you with the ignition turned off you plug it in with, um, when you want to unplug it turn the ignition off unplug it um, and then I'll quickly show you some of the most useful screens uh, that you can find right before you plug in your OBD adapter make sure the car's off then the cover is to the right of the steering wheel on the right hand drive just pull that off it just clips on it also comes um, fuses, smart fuse, and there is what you plug into. I've got a 2020 Conway adapter, which you can't buy anymore, but um, some are having a lot of success with VPEAK adapters. Um, but I personally can't recommend them unless someone all my subscribers have tried one and I will anyway the adapter looks like that and mine's got a, a power on off switch yeah and then plug it in it is a polarised connection, so it only goes one way. Uh, the long end's on the bottom. Just be careful with the connector. And then power it on, and you'll see the lights light up. And then put your ignition on. Right, I've just installed Car Scanner um, Elm OBD2. And I've already bought the, um, the in-app purchase to make it the full version. And I recommend going for the full version. Um, I did a version of this video uh, so you could run it on um, an Amazon tablet. Um, so um, most of this is already in that video. But I'm just going to quickly run through a few things I may have missed. So open the app. Choose your language. Uh, agree to the terms and conditions. And I want Imperial Miles. And PSI. Celsius and you can add horsepower or kilowatts for power units and then your car brand you can search by just putting in Kia You've actually got um, a profile called Ionic 5 EV6 Nero EV 2023 Genesis GB60 GB70 G80 Electrified and Ionic 6. So that is the one you want. Okay, it. And then it's electric vehicle, no fuel. And then you want to connect to the OBD dongle. Uh, at this point it might be useful to read the manual, if, just in case it's got any pin pairing code. This one's got a code of 1234 and it's looking for a, a Bluetooth name of Conway. So um, connect and then it's asking for app permissions, grant the permissions, um, location whilst using the app is what I'll do. And then it's standard Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth LE is for Apple devices, iOS. Mine doesn't support um, iOS. Um, being an Android phone and that. 
and then you've got the selected profile and then it's trying to connect to the Conway adapter and it should ask for a pin pairing code just make sure it's on, the blue light's on, yep I think my phone was already connected to blue, to by Bluetooth, so, so it's still got the profile in, but you would have entered the pin of 1234. Right, so that's it, it's running. Now, uh, when I'm doing my battery charging videos, um, I just press dashboard, and then you've got an absolute ton of predefined screens with all of the sensors and, and stats going on. Notice the default screen has got the 12 volt battery voltage and uh, its state of charge and the battery min and max temperatures and the coolant temperature and the state of charge BMS and state of charge. And currently this is sticking in 1.5 kilowatts and the car's only getting less than what it's showing on the screen according to this. Uh, anyway, to go around these screens you can either scroll sideways and you can go left and right or if you tap at the top there you can see there's um, one of sc 27 screens so if I do that again just pre pre press that number in the middle and I've got Bjorn style dashboard and then you can pick battery charts or any of the other uh, defined ones. This saves you having to mess around and set your own up. So if I do a battery module temperature histogram, that's my current temperatures. Um, if I go back to Bjorn style, For the sake of my fast charging, um, the all important one is battery minimum, so that's the lowest temperature of, of one of the cells, and max is the highest temperature. So when um, the minimum battery min is reached when you're in preconditioning mode of 25, then in theory it should shut, shut off the, um, the heating for the batteries, um, but it also depends on how long it's been running. Anyway, you can scroll sideways and go through all the screens and go into more depth and detail. And then you've got all the cell temperatures. Again, you've got um, you've got battery min and battery max, so um, and the coolant temperature. Anyway. Um, to get back from that just press at the top and you get that little pop-up and then back um, you can look at live data um, but there's such a massive data stream that you're best to just pick a few items otherwise um, it, it tends to slow down a bit and you can also look at di diagnostic trouble codes DTCs um, the ECU identifiers I've covered before, um, which allows you to look at the version numbers of various things, uh, the components in the car, and sometimes you can find out if they've applied updates. Oh. So if you read all, that goes through all of them. But I've done that in other videos. Now, I'm not going to go through every screen, um, there is a lot going on in here, um, but the main ones I use are dashboard and the ECU identifiers. And when you're finished, just disconnect it, turn the car off, turn the adapter off if it's got a switch, and pull it. And then replace the cover. Just fuse, look at the way the fuse is written. The fuse has to be pointing upwards. 
and then just put that in there, in the top first. I hope you find that useful uh, if you've just got your new adapter. Um, be aware and read all the um, the warnings at the front of car scanner. Uh, everything you do is at your own risk. And plugging stuff into the car is at your own risk. That's all it basically says. But using the few tips I've given you, you can quickly get up and running. If you have been, thanks for watching.